Hey guys, I am Viknesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in today's video, we will be seeing how to create a, a single node data pro cluster using G Cloud command line tool and how to establish the connection between data pro cluster and BigQuery and load data from BigQuery, do some simple transformation and write the transformed data back to BigQuery. So in this video, we will be focusing more on how to create the establish connection establishment between data pro cluster and BigQuery, how to use a G cloud command line tool to create a cluster to start and stop the cluster and how to submit our PySpark job using G cloud command line tool. So we'll be not bothered about the data or the transformation functions and we'll be more focusing on how to implement it practically. So without any further delay, uh, let's get started. So I'll, I'll be going into my uh, Google Cloud platform. This is my Google Cloud console. Uh, I'm into this plat uh, project, learn GCP hyphen ACE. To click, to activate our Cloud Shell, we'll be using this, but click on this activate Cloud Shell. Uh, your Linux machine will load. And you once you click on this editor, you can see a similar screen like this. So I have created a virtual environment, uh, Python 3 virtual environment. I am inside this, that uh, virtual environment, if you can see my python version is 3.9.2 and i have written a code for it look basically it will establish the connection connection between big data pro cluster and bigquery load that data uh, with a that uh, with a simple transformation basically i'll be using the transformation inside the uh, query itself and load data back to bigquery so uh, we'll start we'll see how to use uh, G Cloud command line tool to create start stop and submit the SpySpark job or a cluster related details. So basically my cluster name is data proc demo one and region is US East one. So this I'll be passing it as, uh, as a separate instance. So cluster name you can uh, like this is like you can consider it as an uh, config parameter. So I can change whatever the uh, data proc cluster name and I can change whatever the region also basically you can give this if you wanted to create a single node cluster you can take this command like this completely and you can modify just the cluster name alone i'll show you here in this code in notepad so if i wanted to create a data demo to i'll give this an east one so basically i'll take this and i'll paste this in my g cloud command line tool so once you paste this you will be able to see a data proc cluster uh, in the data proc page so this is my data proc page so if you don't know how to go there like click on this and click type data proc so once once you click on this you will be landing in this page and i have created the data proc demo so i have created all this uh, all the clusters um, before uh, recording this session because it will take some time to uh, create the cluster so that is the reason so basically if you wanted to create any cluster a single node cluster you can take this command and you can directly run it so the next thing is uh, how to start the cluster. So this is also a config driven. So I'll to start the cluster, I'll be passing this command. So cluster name, what is my cluster? And the region and data proc, cloud, G cloud data proc cluster, start the cluster name and the region. To stop, rename, re replace start with stop. So that's it. And we will be seeing how to submit this job. So now I hope uh, everything is clear with this command tool. Uh, basically you can take this command, you can just uh, rename this data proc demo into whatever the cluster name you wanted to create just rename it and you will be able to see a single node data proc cluster so if you wanted to know more about these parameters i have given a link in this uh, uh, dot script file okay i didn't place it so i'll be giving it in the description link uh, you can take it from there and you can refer more about it if you wanted to learn uh, more about this commands uh, this commands all those things so we will now see the code so i have created a pi like i have created a installed PySpark and i have created an spark session so um, this or uh, everything will be a normal like default one yarn i'm not doing anything then i'm creating a bucket this bucket is to uh, store the temporary uh, export data uh, like staging file uh, like i'm creating that and uh, i'm reading the data from bigquery spark.read.format bigquery an option table in this is my project id this is my data set id and this is my table name and i'm creating a view so words dot create or replace temporary view and my view name is diabetes underscore one 
and now i am taking this diabetes underscore one i am reading data in the form of a sql query performing a sql query so this is a normal this is nothing but a normal uh, diabetes data so patient id pregnancies all those things i am just filtering on the um, on the column diabetes equal to zero so i'll be showing and print schema all those things and now i'll be loading the data to bigquery diabetes data so diabetes data right format the same thing bigquery project id data set id and my target table name it will be created on the go so it doesn't need to require this table should be existing in the bigquery before executing this query there is no need of it it is created during the runtime so you don't need to worry about it now i understood now, now i think you understood uh, what we are what is the objective is now i'll be taking this command to submit my job again g cloud data proc job submit this is my pyspark job i'm using spark session so i'm using pyspark job similarly you can submit spark python all the other jobs uh, if you wanted to learn more about this also i'll be giving the link in the description box you can take a look at it and this this is my script file name and this is the cluster and region and the jars so this is the default job which i'm using to run this job so now i copy this code and paste it here so once i submit it like uh, uh, it has started the job now you can you wanted to see where about the jobs you can go to this data proc cluster page and click on the cluster my cluster is i mean like i'll show you so this is the cluster which i am currently using for this demo session i clicked on this cluster now i am on the left side i'll be view clicking on the job term so this is the job which i'm currently running this running for this purpose so the job has started it will not take more than a one minute because the data is very minimal so no need to worry about it let it run i'll pass it and once the job's done i'll resume the session yeah i guess uh, the job has been completed no it is still running the job is completed oh yeah the job has been completed yeah so we will see now this the data in uh, so this is our target table name diabetes result zero and we will see whether the target uh, table has been created or not well, I'm refreshing this BigQuery page. Yeah. Yeah, I can see the table created. So we will just query and see what is present inside this. Copy this and I'll paste it in my big query. Yeah, we are able to see all the data related to zero. So, yeah, that's it. I'll basically I'll give all the code and gcloud command line tool in the uh, GitHub link. I'll share that URL with the with uh, in this video description session. So. That's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new from this video. If you have any questions or doubt, please post it in the comment section. I'll take a look at it and uh, I'll reply as soon as possible. So, yeah. Please do like, comment, share and subscribe to Cloud and AI Analytics. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. I'll see you on the next video with a new content. Until then, it's bye from Vignesh. Happy learning.